Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm slightly better than I've been. Apologies for the lack of a video reaction after that capitulation against Leicester City on a Saturday. I went for a PCR test yesterday, just waiting for my results. I've been ill over the last week, so that's that's why um, there was there was no video. But I did watch watch the game. I've analysed it. I've assessed it. Um, and I don't really know what else I can say outside of what I've said in previous videos. Uh, this, this team is chocked full of superstars and they should be producing better performances, if not results, because you can, you can have a run of bad results, you can struggle for form, but in terms of performances, they should be better than they are. And a lot of people will blame the manager and Oli does have to take some level of responsibility. I asked it in a previous video, has Oli taken this team as far as he can take them? And maybe he has, I don't know. I don't want to fuel this fire that Oli um, has taken this team too far. I don't want to fuel this speculation that it's time for Ollie to go because I don't think it is. I think he's done a really good job since he's come in. I think obviously he came in, there was a toxic environment. I think players have improved. I think Luke Shaw has taken his game to another level, but it sort of reminds me of uh, Pochettino when he was coming to the end of his time at Tottenham, you know, for all the good he did with those players. Once they went on that sort of bad run, it was very difficult to get out of it. And it feels, does it feel like the writing's on the wall? It, it does for me. I don't want it to end because of what Oli means to me, what he means to Manchester United. And just generally, I, I don't think um, he's done such, he's done a terrible job and he's sort of an awful tactician. I think he's naive. I think that's something that needs to improve. I don't always trust in the decisions he makes. Sometimes his substitutions are baffling, but that game on Saturday, you know, now, if I go back to the Everton game, I think uh, the Everton game, very good first 45 minutes. I thought we were brilliant in the first half, but there was a drop off in the second half that can happen. Now, is that on Ollie? Is that on Ollie? When do the players have to start taking responsibility? Do the players need to do more? I personally think they should. I don't think they are very good out of possession. I don't think they are working hard enough to retrieve the ball when they lose it. I think there's a lack of movement. Um, I think, obviously, it's been sort of talked about so many times. I've lost count of how many times I've heard people saying this and how many times I've talked about it, you know, in midfield, I think the midfield, that is an area that we are almost overcooked. We've got a lot of good players in that area, but he's, had, he's changed the combination so many times. And I think, you know, he has to settle on a team now. He has to settle on a team. I think certain players aren't delivering as well. I think there has been a drop off. I do think I've said it all season, with the exception of that Leeds game. I think Fernandez has looked off the pace. I think he's looked knackered since probably the second half of last season. I think he looked exhausted. That, you know, that could be for a number of reasons. Uh, I don't think he's carrying an injury, but I think that was. Um, it was another game where you know you read these things about like things have to change. Uh, Saturday will be a wake-up call. We must do better, or to paraphrase certain players. But you know what? How many times can we sort of hear this? How many times can we hear, you know, must do better, we will do better, performances have to improve? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Now, as I say, I think it's a, a combination of things going on. I, I don't want to believe that Ollie's taken this team and these players as far as he can, but I, I think he has. 
he probably has. I think he's done a really good job. I think if he'd have won the Europa League, it, it would have maybe, it would have papered over the cracks because that's not what we wanted. We set out to win last season, but it would have been something he could, we could use in his defence. But because we lost that game and because we performed in that final in the way that we did, that's gone now. And it feels like we've kind of stepped back a little bit. Um, and ahead of this game against Atalanta, um, I am concerned. I was concerned um, ahead of the Valencia game, uh, Villarreal game, sorry. I was really concerned. We got away with one, really. And that all I thought we played well in spells. Against Leicester, 4-2. You know, you, you lost to Leicester. I'd said, I said before that game, I'd said to people before, just like the West Ham game, just like the Villa game, just like the Everton game, these teams turn up against Manchester United. We don't turn up against them. Usually, the last few seasons, we turn up against, you know, your traditional, you know, your, your traditional rival, your cities, your Liverpools, you know, these kind of teams, we will turn up against Liverpool in the FA Cup. But, you know, we've got to play Liverpool in the league on Sunday. And I am concerned about that game. I'm very concerned because even if we win that game, again, it papers over the cracks. And, and questions have to be asked then. Why can we turn up against these teams but we can't turn up against Aston Villa? Why can't we turn up, you know, for a full 90 against Everton? Everton are uh, having a good run of form, but with all due respect, with the, with the quality of players that we have, we should be winning that game. But I think maybe you have to look at the coaching defensively. I think that's um, something that we have to, have to question. The coaching's been really poor. And I just think that at some point, you know, we have to look at that as, um, as something. It does need to be addressed doesn't it? It does need to be addressed because even, even, now Maguire didn't look match fit, didn't look sharp on Saturday, but even when Varane's been playing, he didn't play on Saturday, but even when he's been playing, he's made so many mistakes. So it's a combination of players, coaching, management, something has to change. And this is a massive, massive week now for us. We need something. We don't need a result. We need a performance to go with the result. Next up, it's Atalanta. I'll be at that game. And then, of course, on Sunday, it's Liverpool. Um, but until Wednesday night, thank you so much for watching. What do you think? Has Oli taken the players? Has he taken the club, the team, as far as he can? Let me know in the comments section. Or is it the players? Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't done so already, leave a like. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.